You got Eddie House there he is. With us right now, and Eddie, we're talking about this Celtics team. They've been impacted by COVID. They got a new head coach in Ime Udoka. Your thoughts on how the Celtics have fared so far this season? Well, I think they haven't really had a, a full roster. You know, we hit, you guys hit on there earlier. It's, it's been protocols. It's been injuries. Even tonight, you got Tatum out. You got Marcus Smart out. Schroeder is still in, in protocol. So it's, it's a, a team that hasn't really fully been able to field a full roster and, and get a feel on what they are and where their identity is because it's been mixed up so much. But I think with that opportunity comes for Peyton, a guy like Peyton Pritchard you guys were talking about, having the opportunity to go out there and be the next man up. And uh, for guys that came off the bench like Scal and myself, you relish in this opportunity because this is a, a chance for you to earn minutes and stay in the rotation moving forward. Rotation? We were all about that Skrilla, man. We wanted, that, we wanted the opportunity. We wanted the <laughs> Playing time, Eddie House. Let me tell you a story about Eddie House. But when, when when Doc Rivers would put a sub in mm -hmm. to go in for Eddie House, Eddie House take the next three shots. And, 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 and if he made one, he might let me roll, Coach. Let me roll. But how much would you love this opportunity? <laughs> Oh, you know, I, lo I love playing the game, Scal. You know that, man, just being out there and um, having a chance to compete, you know, because that's what it's about, getting out there and trying to show your skills, showcase your skills, and the work you put in in the summer to be able to get out there and actually see your fruits come to labor. Um, so, you know, I, I would love this opportunity. I think Peyton Pritchard is going to love this opportunity, man. I think anybody who has a, a chance to get out there who hasn't really had heavy minutes, you got to be licking your chops, uh, just waiting and salivating for, for this opportunity. And let's take a deeper look at that bench. It's our veterans' perspective. Our veterans' perspective proudly partnered with VA New England. If you or a loved one served this country, get the health benefits you've earned and deserve. Call 844-VA-CARES. That's 844-VA-CARES. The Celtics among the lowest scoring benches in the NBA right now, fourth worst in the league to be exact, with the bench producing 28 points per game. The Celtics, they have some solid talent on the bench. Josh Richardson, talk about Peyton Pritchard, Grant Williams as well. You know, Eddie, do they need an Eddie House on that bench right now, this Celtics roster? Sign me up, 10 days, get me out there. <laughs> <laughs> the jumper don't go anywhere, right? <laughs> No, the, it, it only gets better, like wine. Um, no, they just need the guys to come in with confidence. That's really what it is. They get your opportunity and have confidence. Trust in your work. Believe in what you have. And um, I think it's going to be a good opportunity for guys tonight because I, I think the, the focal point is going to be Jalen Brown. I mean, if, if I'm the Timberwolves, I'm trying to make him – I'm trying to get the ball out of his hands and force other guys to make plays and make shots. So I think this is a, a great opportunity for the others to find their, their rhythm right now. How, how hard is it to maintain – that confidence when your minutes are going up and down coming off the bench? Well, Scal, you know, you, you know how it was with myself. I only could speak for myself. I always stayed in the game, even if I wasn't playing. We were on the, we'll be on the bench talking the game. Uh, you know how we always talk about the superstar roles, that if we would have shot that, the ball would have rolled out. As You know, the superstar, the ball seems to always roll in. But just staying in the game mentally, that way when you do get your number called, that you're already in the game. You don't have to try to get yourself uh, mentally involved and then physically involved. You know, if you get the mind going first, the body's going to follow. So uh, I, I, th that was just my mindset was just always try to stay ready. That way, when my number is called, I don't have to get ready. Now, Eddie, Eddie taught me something on the, when I was on the bed. Me, me and him always talked about the game, right? And he told me, a lot of guys think they get one opportunity. Mm -hmm. I got to get in there and get three shots up. And all I got to do is make one of those shots, yeah. right? And then after I make one, I can get two more. And all I got to do is make another one. Mm -hmm. I'm two for five from three. I got six points. I did my job. I'm going to get some more minutes. So like, I, that's what you were telling me. Did, did you ever pass that information on to a young guy who was like going out there trying to get some uh, an extra burn? Well, I, I tell the guys this all the time, that whatever your job is that they want you to do, make sure that you do it. And if you're able to add anything else on top of that, that's icing on the cake. Uh, my job was to come in and spread the floor, knock shot down when I got the opportunity. If I had three assists, oh, man, that was fantastic. If I got a couple steals, that was great. If I, got a, if I grabbed a, a board or two, that was great. That's not what they were looking for me to do. They were looking for me to do one thing, and that's come in and score the basketball and, and, and spread the floor and, and make sure guys had gaps and they couldn't double uh, certain players. So I think my, my message to young players is whatever it is that you have to do, make sure that you do that. And anything else you bring with it, you know, is icing on the cake. But make sure whatever your job is 
to be able to be counted on to do that night in and night out. Jason Tatum out of this game due to health and safety protocols. One of eight players on this Celtics roster that will be out due to health and safety protocols. Eddie, just how far can this team go in the near future without Jason Tatum? Uh, not very far, to be honest. Jason Tatum is one of those special players that you, you, they're rare. And when you get your hands on a player like this, you want to keep them, lock them up, and you want to build around him. I think they have a good nucleus of young players. The one thing that I see in this roster is that, you know, these players been around, but they're young. They're really young players. And I think the leadership qualities, um, they got to find some leaders throughout that locker room. And it doesn't necessarily have to come from Tatum and Brown. It could come from other players. You got to have some glue guys, um, you know, some guys that are on the bench that's going to hold guys accountable and call guys out. And I think uh, that's the one thing with this roster right now that I see is where is the leaders? And, and it, that's not a knock. That's not a knock on anybody that's just saying, hey, where are they? And it's opportunity for guys to step up. We're at that time of the year to where you're going to go one way or the other. You're going to trend towards changing the, the season and getting to the playoffs, or you're going to trend the other way and be looking at a, a lottery spot.